So what do you think? Have you ever played water polo before? I have not. It looks rough, though. Honestly. looks like they could use some paramedics. <laughs> I, I probably should have had you on standby yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. That is tough. You need to be a strong swimmer for that. Yeah, absolutely. Allow me to introduce Paul Morneau, Superintendent of Operations for Ottawa Paramedics. How are you doing this morning? Very good. Thanks very much for having us. Great. No, it's my pleasure. Um, all right. So we had the Awareness Week. Tell me all about it. Uh, the Paramedic Awareness Week is, uh, well, it starts off all year long. Mm -hmm. We go out into the community, to the various parts of the community, to meet with uh, whether it be the Muslim community last year, uh, the Native community and the Jewish community this year. They come in and help teach paramedics so that we're culturally competent and culturally smart. We mm -hmm. want to be. Mm -hmm. Then we return the favor and we offer their children uh, a chance to spend a week at paramedic headquarters to learn what it's like to be a paramedic, learn CPR and, and first aid and how to use defibrillators, all of our equipment and our specialty teams. Mm -hmm. So we return that favor. This coming week, we're very much involved in Pride Week festivities, for instance, as well. Okay. You know, we were speaking to a female firefighter yesterday, and they were doing a similar week of awareness, yeah. introducing young women to the profession. That is excellent. Absolutely. That youth have the opportunity to experience, or at least get a taste, of what the profession would be like. Yeah. What better way to decide what you want to do with your life than actually be able to experience it firsthand? Yeah, and that, you know, of course, the other part of that is a little bit of recruitment. We want all aspects of our community mm -hmm. to, one, know that they're going to be cared for by paramedics regardless. And we also want every aspect of the community represented within the paramedic service. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll, some of these kids will choose to be paramedics. Mm -hmm. And that's no doubt invaluable information that you're learning from different, different cultural um, backgrounds throughout the city, things that you might not have known. Yeah, two-way street, right? They come and teach paramedics because we want to be culturally competent and then we teach them our, our skills, absolutely. So what have you brought in for us today? Uh, well, you know, uh, the kids learn just, you know, basic stuff, first mm -hmm. aid, and some of the things we, we taught them is how to take vital signs, how to put splints on, uh, how to immobilize someone. Uh, I'm showing them all of our fancy equipment in our vehicles and trucks. Mm -hmm. um, so we brought in some splints today, and I can show you uh, uh, what we've done. What we've, you know. Oh! Oh, look, oh my arm! Oh, what, what timing! Oh, okay, did you do the boo boo? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> I know, I fell down again. Right on. So one of the first things that we do. We'll right on. This is what the paramedics yeah, do. Yeah, right when on. They I got some business here. Keep me in business. Uh, okay. Um, so this is uh, uh, one of the splints we use. It's pretty easy. You can put your arm right in there. In fact, you can put your your hand just like, like that. Oh, like re so. It rests nice and it forms right to your hand like that. You can hold his arm for me, please. Oh, sure. There you go. It, it, oh, sorry. It, did that listen. <laughs> so it actually you can actually form fit it to a person's arm. That's right. Arm. Depending the you know the shape. If yeah. A I think we need a deformity. bigger size. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, you're just so muscular. Thank you. Oh, easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> All right, so just so, hold it up? Yeah, just hold up. Normally we would have him sitting down, obviously. Right. Uh, but uh, for Already today, it feels better. Doesn't go. go. We'll get yeah. you a lolly after. So the kids are doing all kinds of competitions with the other groups, you know, mm -hmm. they have to uh, make sure they do it uh, quickly and well, and then we right. assess them after uh, to make sure everything's done properly, they have vital signs done. Um, so they're having a lot of fun at this camp. It's mm -hmm. not just about sitting in a classroom, right? We're getting them out involved with our tactical paramedics and our marine paramedics, right. all that kind of stuff, right? So we get an ice pack here. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Oh, put that so the, oh look, that is, uh, that's the, the quick ice pack, right? Yeah. yeah, the crack and go. Yeah, and then you would sling it up. Absolutely. Okay. The good old sling. Oh. There goes my eye. The good old I've sling. Had this, okay. I've had this before. There you go. Put so the, the, right up against there. The key to a good sling is... Is tying it, it properly? Yeah. Make sure it think? goes right past the elbow. Exactly. You can see the fingers still. This is a, yeah. a ratty old sling there. <laughs> we'll but sometimes, the you know what, you got to do with what you have, right? That's right. In fact, we're using a fancy piece of equipment there, but when you're out at the cottage, you know, you don't need to have a fancy splint like this. If you have a magazine or a thick newspaper, you can fold the newspaper, use some cling, some tape, whatever you have, to keep that arm or that fracture really? stable. Just be above and below the, the fracture site. Ideally, the joint above and below is, is, uh, is secured, stable and that's yeah. a good way to secure something, you know, if you're, if you're at a cottage yeah. or wherever until we get there. Yeah, I've, been, I've had this arm in a sling many times. No doubt. Yeah. Thanks for keeping us in business. <laughs> So now, do people actually have the option to sign up for for the week next year, or is this are these people hand chosen? No, we do. We, they can sign up. I mean, typically it comes out of us going out to the various community groups, and then we want to you know pay back for them coming in and helping teach our paramedics. So we typically go to those groups. But this year, it's uh, uh, the Native community and and the uh, Jewish community are well represented. But there's people from all over that are right. actually part of the camp. Right. Mm -hmm. I think the main idea, Paul, is to get younger people interested in the field, uh, to find out what's going on in the field, and maybe 
develop some future paramedics. Right? Absolutely, and I think the key message we want the community to know is no matter what part of the community you belong to, you'll be cared for by paramedics regardless, and we want all of you to consider being part of the profession down the road as well. If I might uh, add, uh, we really appreciate what you guys do, and uh, we thank you for your, your service to the community. It's a fantastic uh, way to, to not only earn a living, but to serve the community. Yeah, and we thank you. We'd love to hear that when people say that. Yeah. Come up with a See, look at me. Look at him. He fixed you right up. Thanks well, a lot, Paul. It was a pleasure. There's, there's someone who can need a paramedic now and then. <laughs> it's this guy. <laughs> <laughs>